Uh, first of all, congratulations on your achievement. Thank you. Okay. Uh, tell us something about yourself. Yes, my name is Gyan Prakash. I have done my B.Tech in Aerospace Engineering from SRM University, Chennai. Um, this year, I have uh, qualified IIT Jam, and I have also applied to different ISAs this year only, and I, I got selected in ISAR Pune. Uh, in the integrated PhD program in mathematics, uh, I will be joining it, and uh, it will start from first August. Okay, so tell us something about your mathematical journey. Yes, uh, so during my school days, it was not so much that I was interested in mathematics, um, as like I would do research or I would be someday joining an integrated PhD program. So. Uh, so during uh, my school days, there was not much of a liking towards mathematics. But uh, due to my interest in space technology and uh, satellites and uh, the research that was going in ISRO, uh, I thought that the best possible option if I do BTEC would be aerospace engineering. So then I joined uh, in SRM. Uh, and from the get-go, from the first semester, um, I joined a student research group uh, and I realized that maths is like very, very important in, if I want to do anything in engineering also. Like if I want to study, if I, specifically for research purposes, that mathematics is very important. And slowly, slowly I realized that, yes, uh, that my uh, that my temperament is more towards uh, understanding mathematics than just to blindly applying it in some simulation software without ever knowing what actually happened behind the machine. So and then I uh, contacted my uh, first of all in my department I contacted teachers to know uh, to get to know that can I even switch to mathematics now. Then I contacted my uh, in my college, some research scholars from the Department of Mathematics and also to the faculty members of the Department of Mathematics and then uh, after that I I started to prepare uh, for IIT JAM and I chose BIPS Academy during that process. I really got to understand that how I should really study mathematics because this was the first time I was formally studying mathematics because in my undergraduate it was not a formal I used to search a PDF from the web and used to just read it but now from there also I knew that there, there is a flavor to mathematics that there is something that uh, that catches my attention but when I came to DIPS it was very clear that yes this is what I want to do because the conceptual understanding and the clarity by which the faculty members used to teach that was uh, very important for me to even uh, as an engineering student because it was my first time I was first time introduced to formal mathematics and it was amazing to me that it is so rich in concepts and it is not like just uh, dry calculations yeah. so, so dips helped me a lot in first of all knowing that what mathematics is all about and then also preparing me for the uh, for the exam for, for my further exam it is not just that it was a preparation for iit jam they used to teach what the subject is not focused towards only to, to solve a problem solving problem is very important because and at the end of the day you have to do that only for for getting into a college or for giving a competitive exam. So first they they made it very clear what the topic is all about. And then of course we used to have a lot of problem solving also. So as you just said that you were doing BTEC and now you are going to join integrated MSc. So how do you find the courage to switch? Yes. Uh, so as I have told you that during the time of my study in engineering and also side by side mathematics, I was very much uh, 
captivated by how the theorems and the ideas as a whole uh, used to connect to each other and the main motivation was that i used to i got an idea that how uh, important maths is and uh, for me like especially for me that i used to enjoy the uh, the the concept that was being uh, introduced in my subjects so the courage came from mathematics only that yes i want to do this it is a very rich subject on its own and there is a lot of future in it that was the main uh, like that made me uh, to uh, make that decision of switching yes. uh, so would you like to guide your future aspirants yes so if i if like some of the things that i would like to tell them is that you should read books like good books that uh, that uh, that introduce uh, that introduces you to uh, like it also gives you a back story of what is happening how things develop and also by side because reading a math textbook is not that easy it's very difficult so you should have a uh, a guide uh, or a teacher to which you can go and ask like what is this what is this defining how should i proceed further so my uh, main advice would be to read books and to, to discuss a lot of mathematics because because while discussing you get to know that how much you really know or because in the mind you think that yes i have understood but the moment you speak to somebody your teacher your faculty your your friends so discussion like discussion and reading books both are like from me that would be the advice okay uh, so as you said that you are going to join iser yes. so uh, not uh, many people know the process of it so yes. we, how to get to iser yes so like any uh, competitive exam uh, there are deadlines that that are posted on every iser website you have to just frequently check it like the dates come after you have given your iit exam so in the month of i think so in april may during that time the notification come out that you that you can apply to this program the deadline all that are given and in most of the iser the system is uh, like this that first uh, they like some iser call their students to uh, to take the exam in the place like i i was called to pune and some iser also take online exams so like iser thiruvanthapuram uh, took a online exam for all the aspects so i filled up the form uh, there were uh, my exam was uh, uh, like was in two shifts it was only a single day in the first shift uh, i was given mcq uh, question and in the second shift there was subjective i had to write and after that there is a interview process that happens that also depends that it may be online or they will call you to iser so mine was online so i gave that interview and after two or three weeks they they announced the result yes. okay uh, so how do you feel about depth academy okay so i could uh, very honestly say that dips uh, changed my point of view of what really uh, studying mathematics means it's not just calculations or just solving problems you should first of all know like what, what the theory is why the theory was even developed in the first place it was not of like just you, this is the definition and just move on this is theorem then the next proof then and proposition then move then moving on it was first uh, teachers used to introduce everything like why we are defining such a thing first of all then we used to say yes now we have defined this now we know what the use of this is so all that was introduced to me in depth for me so that like we 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 already discussed about my decision 
so that was also motivated by this that now i was very sure that this is this is the thing that i want to do and the teachers were excellent in teaching also and uh, in clarifying my doubts on like live interactions i had everything and and i enjoyed my uh, time in this Thank you so much. We are really glad to know your experience and all the very best for your future. Thank you. Thank you.